morning, everybody. It's about 3.20 in the morning. This is Dr. Phil Dry. See, I'm cracking a little egg right here. We're just like it's called a busting that ass. Okay, what I'm trying to do here is trying to help you people that love me so much for being such a savior to America, bringing the black mafia to accountability by busting the black Negroes' ass and a bunch of crooked elected officials that betrayed America, betrayed their constituents, betrayed their freaking race, betrayed everybody. Okay, my job is to celebrate their freaking downfall. And what I'm doing right now is I'm having a you in jail and I'm not, Shirley Huntley, because you tried to have me locked up. Okay, and my job next is to have Congressman Meeks locked up. And we do know that the head of the Black Mafia, which is Reverend Dr. Floyd Flake, former congressman, who, you know, his mistress ended up getting killed with the bastard baby kid that he had coming up before she testified before Congress against uh, Congressman uh, Floyd Flake. And right now we are just celebrating busting eggs, okay? And that's how you bust a black mafia's egg with a feather touch, okay? So this is how you peel an egg with one hand. You have never before in history seen a man on YouTube just shelling an egg with one hand and doing this from his cell phone, okay? And he's going to eat it to celebrate locking up Shirley Huntley, who's in jail right now sleeping and dreaming about me. Shirley Huntley in her first night in jail is dreaming about me because if Lester Muse would have done his freaking job, and they don't, they would have, and I didn't become homeless. I wouldn't have spent three years of my life in homelessness just to fuck them over. So here we go, right here. Look at that, huh? Hi, Shirley Huntley. That, those are your butt cheeks right there. <laughs> and guess what? I'm gonna show you people how I'm gonna eat that ass up. Mmm. 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. The black mafia are a bunch of cowards. See, they used to be like white people with money, good family, all that. Now, they're yellow like a bunch of freaking cowards. That's right. Niggas running scared. Niggas running scared because niggas don't like to go to jail because they know it's right back to slavery. Mm-hmm. And when you get a sentence... Of a year and a day, you lose your citizenship rights. You can't vote. You cannot vote no more. So, Shirley Huntley's getting punished. Like she tried to get me punished. Locked up and sent back to that hellhole of Haiti. Which is what it turned out to be. So, getting exiled. I mean, shit. And them freaking Haitians took everything we had. They betrayed us, came to America. I fought for America in the military. Special Forces guy, Airborne Ranger. Jumping out the airplane, doing my PLF. All that shit. And America betrayed me. I sent a little letter to the White House. But Barack Obama's administration don't give a shit about nobody. It's all about his legacy and shit. And, you know, Michelle, she's a comfort girl. I ain't the kind of sister that's going to be fucking with a black guy. That's a white boy's girl. That's a, a white man's comfort girl. Michelle don't give a shit about nothing and nobody but her own highfalutin ass. Well, yeah. so I've been betrayed by America, and push come to shove, you know, I might have to like run to, over to the Cuban embassy and say, let me go ahead and go take care of Castro, because my cousin told me he ain't dead yet. See, yeah, I'm related to president of my country and the ambassador. That's right. And, uh, 
being a poor black a nigger piece of shit in America is just a piece of shit. When you're a poor black nigger in America, you're a piece of shit. You ain't got no hoopty, so you don't get no respect from the black bitches. They don't give a fuck about you. That's right. Because you're not paying that slave bitch. And that's what it is in America. I went out this motherfucking country. A lot of nice hot holes out there in California and in the states. Well, I think I like Wisconsin. Nice, cute Lutheran babes out there. Cute white girls with good freaking credit. You know? And uh, y'all just fucked me over. Y'all just fucked me over, America. And to all you, my friends out there that love me and appreciate me and tell your fans about me, you know I'm talking about them, right? I ain't talking about you. This is our entertainment, our party. This is our rebellion and revolt. This is our protection of this constitution because America is great. America is beautiful. That's why I used to love America. And when they fucked me over, I began to hate my existence in this motherfucker. But I still love America. And that's why I'm fucking over the black mafia for you, America. And I'm doing it for you, white America, because black niggas are a bunch of traitors to their fucking congregation status. And you know that by their fucking leaders that they still goddamn supporting. And I'm going to go ahead and go to, to um, Senator J. Sanders' event. I ain't got nothing bad to say about that guy, about nothing. Okay, he's got a nice lawyer. I think he's a nice little Jewish guy. <clears throat> That knows exactly what this country is all about. It's about honesty. It's about decency. It's about doing the right freaking thing. All right? So, America, hey, how you doing? Right, that's what I'm talking Could you imagine if Dr. Dreis had a hot babe like that? Nice white girl with good credit in North California, Oregon. Yeah, baby, I'd be riding high, and I'd be loving my woman, but I can't do shit in America, because I ain't got no money by no black ass, them hot, hot, sweet black ass, I mean, just hot shit. I used to buy a lot of it, spend a lot of money on ass in America, and I ain't getting no dividends, I'm pissed off, I went out, I think I'd, I think I'd like to go to Cuba right about now, I think I'd like to go to Cuba. Because Cuba is a beautiful country, beautiful people. Fidel Castro right there. I'll go ahead and be Fidel Castro's valet because he's one of my heroes that protected his country from imperialism of the East and the West. All right? So, America, I don't have none of that shit because I've been fucked. <laughs> How you doing? And I'm fucking over every black nigga traitor you all got. As my trophies to Harvard, and I'll go sell that shit in Europe. Bye bye.